Hey there, Whiskey Fantasies. I'm Chris. And I'm Kara. Kara, what do we have today? We have Mock Grimoire. This is a pita whiskey. One of those folks that do Aaron whiskey. Okay, uh, 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 cast strength. Did I mention this? Oh, yes, cast strength. This is important. But what else is important is I'm not sure how to pronounce it because I say Aaron and I've heard Aran. Aaron, Aran, Pecan, Pecan. We're going to call it Aaron. Wikipedia doesn't help us nope. figure out the pronunciation. That's okay. Not many people speak uh, Scotch Gaelic anyway, so it's fine. I don't think a good portion of people might understand them. Nope. So what's interesting about this peated mm -hmm. whiskey is it's only 20 ppm. ppms. Parts per million. Not nope. as smoky. But so, so, you know Shayla from Whiskey Fancies? Yeah. She likes to point out, and it's a great thing to remember, that parts per million are measured before distillation, not after bottling. So you're going to lose some of the True. parts in the distillation process. So it's not super accurate. It's more of a range. Mm -hmm. Like, very similar to the spicy scale on salsa. Does that make sense? True. Okay, I, I just want to say going into this. This is tricky. I like this distillery. Aaron, Aaron, everything I've tried from them, I've absolutely loved. I love their malt. I don't yes. know what they're doing. It is delicious. It's flavorful. It is heaven in a glass. And their EVs are usually higher. And they're non-chill filtered. Non-chill filtered, um, non-colored. I, I, I like them. I, I do like too. Them. This is a non-age stated. Although I really do want to try their sherry. We haven't tried their sherry yet. And I it's on the way. I don't know, because we have other ones to get through. I guess so. So because this is a very lightly peated whiskey, I'm having trouble really? getting the smoke or the peat on the nose. Yeah. It is a, I'm getting it's more than color. peat. Yeah. And also, oh, I, I, I got we a found bit. out that oh. It's actually hard to get this, and we had no idea. No idea. We were just lucky that our local spot just had it for has us. a few cases just lying around. I should and probably snag the rest of that case. I kind of want to because if I remember correctly, I think I really love this. I think I love this, but it's and hard I don't to say. Getting this one confused with another one. So, do you guys like dark glass bottles or not? I, I don't. I'm know. torn. I don't. I kind of don't care for it because it's oh. also I can't see the color of whiskey and then I have to do these detective I can finally see it if you put it up to the the light where my level is but we would probably it's not a work we'd probably drink this a lot faster just because we couldn't see the level. You have to be careful. Yeah if we know we don't have a backup and really enjoy it. I think I have a backup but I'm not hundred percent sure. You better otherwise I'm gonna go get some more. Okay. Let's get into this, shall we? I'm getting more of the malts on the nose I get a little, the peat. I get a little like right. charcoal brick at the end, just a little bit. You have to look for it though. Charcoal brick. Like somebody put a campfire an hour ago. Hmm. Like you get a little bit of ash, but not a lot. That's what I'm getting. I need to get drunk and passed out by then. That time. When that I'm cleaning time. up. When you're sleeping. There you go. Let's get into it. Okay. So. Do you know how to find out if we have a backup bottle of this yet? We need to do this. Okay, the reason why I made such a dramatic face is immediately mm -hmm. you're hit by that sweet sour malt of Aaron. You, you get it right in the front, like bah! And then you get the smoke on the back. Just a tinge. So if you don't like being That's kicked good. in the face by Pete, 20, like this is a great introductory. Yeah, some, pe Pete. some Pete heads think. 20 is a waste of time. I've Pete heard, heads. yeah, people that love, love, Pete love, heads. love. Oh, I like that. Peter whiskey. Pete yeah, people oh, that love Peter whiskey that like Octomore. Hmm. Like, um, was it, what was that art big? Dark Cove was the one of the, or was it Supernova? I think it was Supernova. Oh, I think like it was one of the, the highest ones. Whiskeys. So people that really love that, yeah. I've heard, I've watched people kind of make fun of low peat whiskeys around mm -hmm. 20. They're like, well, that's a waste of time. I don't think it's but a waste of time. I think it's a nice balance between what peat has to offer yeah. and still shining the malt. And you don't have to yeah. fight through some of those peat I notes. think just for the average person that I, I would like consider it. myself yeah, to I be like the it. average scotch drinker, 
um, even actually below that because we're not as nuanced as a lot of people. Right. Because we we are delving into scotch. Mm -hmm. I think that this would be a very good introductory for people who don't particularly like pee or just want to taste it. That want to taste yeah. the malt as well. Because I think the, the more pee you get into, it's hard to discern. You have to keep drinking it. Yeah, but then the more I drink it, I'm just, it's all ash. Yeah. When the first couple of sips is when I can get some flavors if it's really, really peaty, and then it just goes to ash. Like, I, 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 I don't acclimate to the it just hide away. You. It just overwhelms me. I get it. This, you get, this that, is good. you get that air and malt. It's not like an ash, like I just smoked a cigarette in my mouth. It's not like that at all. No, it's more of a barbecue meat. Yes. Like that. Mm -hmm. Like he, like the... Like you got a nice crust on a brisket or something. It's mm -hmm. that type of Ooh. smoky. Yes. That's the best part, the burnt the, ends. Yeah, does that make sense? You get a little bit of it, but you're not scooping up charcoal. And This has a brightness meat. to it, and I know it's non-age stated, so that's why it, I, it probably has that brightness to it that some young scotch have. Mm -hmm. It's it's like a, a happy camper. <laughs> that's what I think of it, is a happy camper. Mm, 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 mm. I really like it. It's very enjoyable. I, I don't get fruit. I get this zing in the front. Is that, but it's a little spike. Is it what people call citrus? I think so. Maybe. I, I, I get vanilla. I, I get some citrus stuff, but when it comes with some peat, I can't extract this, like a lemon Maybe. or a citrus note to it. Some other scotches I can by myself, but I, I can't on this one. Oh, and this is cast drink. It's no slouch. No. This baby is. 56% and I just, I just closed my mouth and accidentally was breathing through my nose and I sent all the ethanol through my sinus cavity. Oh, did you cry? That was spiky. No, I didn't cry. No. But it was, it was, was uh, like a dragon. It was a journey. A journey. <laughs> I don't understand what they're doing here. Right. Aaron is by quickly becoming my favorite scotch distillery and I don't know why. I, just, I'm in love with a lot of things that they're doing. I really enjoy this. I do too. Um, and I'm a sucker for dogs, just and animals in general. I think he is, is, is that the, is that the dog person. that guards the gates of hell? I he doesn't look as fierce. I don't think he, he, he has have, like fangs and stuff and blood. I really down don't know things. all my. I'm sure that's what he looks like. A friendly dog. He's kind of chain uh, right a yard. I will look it up. I know there's a legend. Jump it's probably yard. on the back of either the bottle or the tube of this story. Oh, it's talking about the favorite dog, Bran. There you go. His name is Bran. His name is Bran. B R A N. Like. This is a legendary warrior giant Fingal. Is said to have tethered his favorite dog, Bran, to the stone. It's the dog's name. Bran. Cool. And there's the stone. See? Look. See? Oh, it connects Starts there, to it. and then it connects to the stone. Nice labels, guys. I liked you it. Tie your dog to a stone. Well, maybe he had to go do something, and so he tethered him so they wouldn't run away. I don't care, mm. but I love He's this. He's got a little mohawk, though. It's kind of cute. Oh, he does. Mm. After the rebranding of Aaron, I've noticed that more people are paying attention. The branding is gorgeous. It's it by is. it's done by one of some of my favorite designers called uh, Stranger and Stranger. They just knocked it out of the park. So it's very great labeling, and but because of that, sometimes I'm sometimes I'm able to snag some of the older labels. Mm -hmm. for a, like almost like a clearance price yes so i think i got this really inexpensive because that of and, it uh, another i got the bothy. the bothy that's actually delicious we the, should do we should drink that again we haven't drinking that oh, we're gonna have bothy soon and we have a, don't we have another errand on the way or no well we will shortly i'm sure no but we should we had a couple of recently i'm feeling like we should now i'm in love with it it's been it's very muted in the nose yeah. Because you get the little bit of charcoal on the finish, mm -hmm. and you go back to the the nose, and you don't really get a lot of the that influence, the peat no. on the nose. You get more of the malt, which is my far favorite part of Aaron. Is mm -hmm. the is it not like the most sweet, delicious malt you've ever had? It is. I don't understand. It, it makes me puzzled and so happy. Well, there's only one other like distiller. I'm, not, I'm just gonna call this a happy camper bottle. Mm. There's only other one other whiskey that like one other distillery that makes me happy, mm -hmm. but I, I think it's the second place so far is Glen Scotia. That one's actually pretty. Glen Scotia makes me really happy. That does. But too. this Aaron, 
I think we should have eventually we should have the whole vertical. That would be awesome. Ten. I, oh, but they're sure. such a small distillery. I don't think they would probably have like little bottles. Mm -hmm. No. Mm -hmm. Darn it! That would be Maybe fun. we should talk and talk to some people and spoil some bottles. We may or may not have a sample of this. Have you guys had a lot of the products that are coming out of Aaron Distillery? And sp more specifically, have you had Macre More? And this is the castric version. Please let us know what you think about this distillery down in the comments. And while you're there, give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on your notifications so you can join us in our next video while we drink more scotch and bourbon for you. It's the best way to pass the day. I don't know about you, but I absolutely fancy, fancy, fancy this whiskey. I fancy it. Oh, it's almost gone. I know. Ooh, cheers.